who's giving you all your touch hi guys welcome back to my channel yes i have on the same outfit that i wore in last month's last video but we're making great use of our time today and in today's video i have my sephora spring savings sale haul i made three plus orders and three of them are here so yeah i want to share my sephora haul as well as a couple of other items that i have gotten this past month so if you want to see what i got during the sephora haul the much anticipated spring haul please keep watching okay so by the time Time this video is up the Sephora haul will be over with but hopefully you caught my Sephora sale recs and my posts on Instagram because this is one of the best times to ever buy from Sephora if you guys ugh, I feel like we're too much over there if you guys have been following my channel for a while you know that I stopped shopping at Sephora solely I used to be like one of their number one supporters I am not any longer uh, that's a whole separate video but I do still like shopping their sales and I was super proud of Sephora let's give them let's actually give them a hand clap because this year the spring sale was 20% off for VIB Rouge every other previous year that I've ever shopped the sale in the springtime it's been 15% off so shout out to them for actually making this sale worthwhile to be a VIB Rouge qualifying customer that was actually very nice so the first things I'm going to share with you are two items that I got from Walmart and yeah I just want to share them with you in case you're looking for a makeup wipe recommendation the Equate makeup remover cleansing towelette these are comparing to the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes now Walmart used to have a version of makeup wipes that was like the Neutrogena ones but they didn't feel oily I cannot find them anymore or maybe I just need to look more closely but I don't really love these because I have used them yesterday and they make your skin feel a little oily but then it actually absorbs so I don't know what's going on but I much rather spend like four to six dollars on these than like 20 or 30 on my Ula Henriksen ones so it is what it is they're not the highest quality but you know it works so I will link these down below if I can find them on Walmart's website but I needed some makeup remover wipes and I figured let's just be cost effective this time oh and stay tuned to the end I want to do something fun so stay tuned to the end okay so let's open our first package I'm using my handy dandy weaponry that I keep with me every day so don't try it uh, so I did make three orders and I'm gonna use some hand sanitizer every time I touch a packaging that has been in someone else's hands I have to sanitize I placed three separate orders just because I didn't want to so I placed one order using a gift card then I went back and placed another order because I forgot something in my first order that was just what it was so in this first order we have my favorite exfoliating pads now I should say that I didn't go crazy during this sale because I'm just not into hoarding makeup and skincare anymore but we're gonna talk about that later on so the first item I got is the first eight beauty facial radiance pads these are my favorite method of exfoliation they're so simple to use they're convenient they're travel friendly I have a smaller case that I travel with they exfoliate my face so nicely when I just need something super quick and effective I used them this morning because I didn't have time to do my whole skincare exfoliation mask routine love them they have gone up a little bit in price recently but I get it inflation perfect like I will always ride for these and if you've watched any of my other Sephora sale hauls you know that I always get this and I love them <laughs> so only two things in this box the next item is my mascara I had to re-up on my Lancome Mosse Big I actually have it on today if you guys can tell I just didn't feel like wearing lashes today and this is my favorite mascara Lancome and Dior have my favorite mascaras this is the Mosse Big I actually got this in influencer influencer <laughs> I got this probably like two years ago and I've been using it ever since I love it it just makes my lashes so voluminous and lengthened without clumping up it is my favorite hands down I will always repurchase it if it is available so I picked up another backup of that because it's been about a year since I've purchased the mascara and I knew I was gonna run out so I figured why not take advantage of the sale I got a sample of the belief aqua cream no <laughs> the belief aqua bomb jelly cleanser I love this cleanser so much 
much. I received it in a Believe uh, gift set last Sephora sale in November and I really, really like this. I have about three cleansers that I need to use up but after that I will be purchasing that. So that's all in that box. Let's, ah! That would have been really bad if this knife dropped on like my toe. Please be careful using knives. <laughs> Ooh, he kept me near the cross. That could have been bad. Okay, so my second box. Seems more sanitizer. We can never have too clean of hands. They give you a lot of fluff. And then my order. Okay, so I also got a sample of the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro. And these are the colors 212, no, 202, 400, and 501. These are the liquid lipsticks. These are what the colors look like, the two, the four, and the five. So a nude red and like a mauve pinky toned. So I will try those out. I love a good liquid lipstick. Okay, the next item that I purchased is a re-up of my favorite foundation. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I take the shade Tahoe. This is my favorite foundation, hands down, for my skin overall. So I have really oily skin. I also have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my skin. So I need a lightweight, high coverage formula that won't make me too oily. This is like the best coverage that I've ever found in a foundation without making you look cakey. It's very lightweight and luminous. I have it on today. I have one a lot concentrated in the areas where I have most of my hyperpigmentation, but I don't look like a cake face. Part of the reason is because I am so oily, but this is a really, really great foundation. So I decided to get a backup of that because I'm sure I will be running out of that soon. My next item I'm super, super excited about. This is like the one fun item that I actually got because I'm such a loser right now with makeup and skincare. But this was actually a recommendation from my girl Kendra and it is the Tom Ford Lick, <laughs> Lick, no, Lip Lacquer Luxe. And the color is 08 Overpower and it is a matte shade. I'm so excited for this. So she recommended this lip color and she is not like, she doesn't buy a whole bunch of fluff. So when she recommends something, I know that it's amazing. I have two other Tom Ford lip products and I don't use them. Part of the reason is because they're so expensive. And I, th I think this was like regularly 60 something dollars. Like who do I think I am? I am not the queen of freaking England, but I was really excited to try this. Now, our first impression, She's weighty. You can tell that this is high quality because it's very, it's weighted and it feels nice. Now, my friend also told me that removing the applicator is a little tricky, but she said if you hold it like this, like hold it in one hand and remove it that way. Uh-oh, hold on. Mm, that doesn't quite work for me. I'll have to get her to give me another tutorial. I don't wanna break it. Okay, well, I'll have to get her to help me because I don't want to break this baby. She was way too expensive, but this is what the color looks like. It's a matte red. You guys know I love a matte red lipstick, so I really wanted to try this out. I just have to get my technique down because I can't be breaking this. It's way too expensive, but this was like my little luxe fun item that I got because everything else was pretty sensible. So I will keep the packaging just in case I can't use it and I need to return it because I don't want to have to have something that I have to be too, too careful with and I'm afraid of breaking. Okay, the next item, every once in a while, I'll just check to make sure I don't have a fever, excuse me. The next item that I have is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Recovery Complex 2. This is my favorite nighttime anti-aging serum. This is a backup. I've purchased this four or five times. Yes, I use anti-aging products. I am not as young as you guys probably think. Your girl needs some good anti-aging. I love this. This is a staple in my skincare routine. I use it every night when I can remember. And it helps reduce fine lines, wrinkles. It helps impart radiance. It helps texture issues. It's just the golden standard. I love Estee Lauder skincare. My grandmother used it. My mom uses it. I just, it's a family staple. So I will always repurchase that. And I was running low on that. The sample I got in this order as well is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate, which I love. The only reason why I've never pulled the trigger on this product is because it's so expensive. I want to say it's like 80 something dollars for two ounces of an exfoliant. 
I can't justify that. But if you ever see it as a sample, please pick it up. It is amazing. It really does exfoliate well. It's just super, super pricey. Okay. And the last box should only have one product in it. I really did well this time, you guys. Okay. You just can't be too safe, you guys. Okay. In this package, we have my long-awaited Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I've been using my Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I like it so much that I bought the regular size and the travel size. But what I started realizing was that it doesn't keep me mad enough. So this is my face after wearing makeup for maybe one and a half-ish hours. I feel like the Laura Mercier kept me more matte longer and I have extremely oily skin so for me to get oily so quickly with that one I'm kind of like hmm maybe I need to go back to my Laura Mercier. Also this one you get double the product for cheaper so it's more cost effective so I decided to pick another one up in the sale. This is the golden standard this is a holy grail fave you can't go wrong with it. I do like the hourglass one I just don't think it's great for my skin. I don't know and it's crazy because I've been using it for so long but whatever. Let's see what samples I got. I got the Super Goop Sunscreen Daily Moisturizer SPF 50 PA++++. I will try that out. I love a good sunscreen and I do like Super Goop. I also got a Nest Fragrance sample and this is Sun Kissed Hibiscus. Let's see what she's giving. Okay, I can't smell it. Mm. Oh wow. So this has notes of frangipani and orange blossom combined with warm golden amber and hibiscus. This smells nice. I can definitely smell the orange. Well, that is not my usual like scent profile that I like. It's very spring and summer appropriate. I really like the orange in it. I might have to get this in a rollerball. This would be great. Ah, this would be great for traveling on vacation. This is a really nice scent. It's very orange heavy, but I do like it. Okay, so the surprise that I wanted to share with you guys is I want to include a video portion of the first video that I have ever put on my channel. We just recently passed the six year anniversary that I have been on YouTube. I started this channel because I needed an outlet. I needed something to occupy my time. I've always really loved YouTube. I've been watching it probably since 2006 or 2007. I was really into skincare and beauty and fashion and my friends would always encourage me and one day I just said you know what do it do it just film a review so it was during the same time because i remember my first video was the sephora spring sale haul and i remember getting a package in the mail i sat in my room <laughs> behind this room and i sat in front of my webcam and i filmed a video it was a grainy video it's still up on my channel i will link it down below but you can just see so much growth from that video i'm so much more natural on camera now you can really tell that i love doing what I'm doing but it's also so interesting because that was probably like a at least $200 haul probably even more I used to do like thousand dollar Sephora hauls in my younger years um, I would spend my extra money on makeup and it was really a joy of mine but it's so amazing just to look back and see how different I am now just in my personal life and my life my life here on YouTube I'm not concerned with having the biggest haul and you know ten thousand dollar hauls and a thousand dollar hauls like I really just do content that I believe in I mean I've always done that but it's just interesting to see how I've evolved over the years I used to hoard makeup and a couple years ago I went through a phase where I was just like enough is enough why do you have 15 makeup palettes and you only use your face Favorite too. Why do you have a thousand lipsticks? And you know, I really just stopped mass consuming things. And you would think that I would be sad because I don't like consume as much 
vacuous things that some people would see it as but I don't know it feels nice to have a curated collection and to have something that you really love and I feel great to get six or seven items from the Sephora sale and be just as happy like even though the majority of those items are items that I've been using for years I'm still excited about them I'm excited that I have new products that are going to help me look and feel my best and I'm excited that I don't feel the need to spend a thousand dollars at Sephora at one time anymore so it's just really interesting to see the growth that uh, I've taken on this journey and I've been able to actually do it on YouTube which is so interesting because I'm really a shy and private person but the fact that I've been on YouTube for six whole years and I'm about to make 20,000 subscribers it is just mind-boggling so thank you to all of you who continue to watch and support my channel it honestly means the world to me I love doing this like you guys see how excited I am to film videos you guys literally make my days and especially in a time like this when there's just so much stress that I have in my personal life the one thing that's constant and that I know is that when I turn on this camera and sit in front of my front window I'm gonna have a smile on my face so thank you guys so much for that um, I just thought it was really interesting that I'm about to hit 20k and I'm six years in on my channel and the video that I'm doing now was my first video and it was just so fun to look back at that video so I am going to insert some clips from that video um thank you guys so much for watching thank you for being on this journey with me I hope you enjoyed this video this haul and this little extra portion let me know what you got down below during the Sephora haul I would love to know chat with me tell me how you're doing how's your day going let's just start this month off very positively as we've been doing and I hope this is a great start to each of your months and I know it will be to mine I will see you guys in the next video bye so today I have my first unboxing from the Sephora VIB Rouge Chic Week 2014. So here's my big old box. And we're going to go through the contents. And I also have a smaller Sephora haul and items from a mini Macy's haul. I don't know why they include all this paper. First item is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Oso oh Fresh Perfume. And I've smelled this a couple times. I think I got a tiny sample once. And it smells really fresh and nice for the summertime. So this is the packaging. It's really big. This is a 4.25 fluid ounce bottle. And I'll just open it up to show you how it looks. It's one of the reasons why I like it is because it has beautiful packaging. Here's what the bottle looks like. And it smells. Oh, it smells like flowers and laundry detergent and amazingness. I know that sounds really weird, but it smells really pretty and it's in the cutest little bottle and it's the biggest bottle perfume I've ever had. So that's the first thing. The next thing is something I've wanted to try for a really long time, but it's really expensive. So when I saw they had this, I wanted to get it. And it's the Glow Solo Teeth Whitening Mini System. G-Vol Teeth Whitening, a whiter smile one minute a day. And it comes with, I think, enough whitening solution for two weeks. So I'm excited to try this out because who doesn't want super white teeth? And let me actually open it because it's a cute little, it has a cute little pouch, I believe. So it comes like this in a little pouch with a glow lip care on the back. And I think that's just to put on your teeth so they won't be, I mean to put on your lips so they won't become sensitive. So this is a cute little pack and it's good for traveling. Um, I guess this is for on the go, but I decided I'd try this out and use it. And then if I like it, I get the bigger system. And since it was VIB Chic Week, all these products were 15% off. 
And if you stay tuned to the end, I'll tell you how you can get even more cash back. The next product is a Sephora, a step ahead foot smoother. And it's like a pet egg, those little things to smooth the bottom of your feet. And I figured this would be good because um, it'd be cheaper than going to the salon all the time. So just has one of those things in the bottom.